morning hands welcome to morning my name is destiny so it is a glorious sunday today the sun is out i haven't opened my windows yet because i want to have this whole moment when i do it and what do they call it self-care sunday i usually call it something different but i forgot whatever but the principle and the point is still the same um my self-care sundays always look different because i need different things on different sundays okay self-care to me is waking up and doing whatever your body wants to do that to me is the best kind of self-care so some days it's me lying in bed all day some days it's me running around the whole town sometimes it's me just chilling in the house vibing out to some music whatever it is whatever i feel like doing at that point and today it happened to be vlogging so here we are <laughs> i just got out of the bath um i am feeling a little bouncy this morning and it's so weird because i was drinking last night but like i feel a bounce in my step you know and i'm gonna ride it i'm gonna ride the bounce i have some chores to do around today like inside the house though not nothing chaotic nothing dramatic so i have the laundry to do i want to bake sourdough bread or at least get my starter ready i've never done that before but i've been watching youtube videos so let's see how that goes and i want to like look cute a bit like you know lift my face a bit put on some makeup I look like somebody's girlfriend you know this <laughs> and yes guys like i not nails the i not lashes i not lipstick like andy lofe brown and that is not my brand i'll just continue cleaning up around here you know i have these sheets to wash as well yeah ready to get down with me uh, uh, just some brandy just... i'm okay this baby this week right and she's looking good she's growing her she's budding very nicely and i don't have a name for her yet but i want to give her a name that is special for this house anyway we're making our way downstairs and we are yet to clean the kitchen and water that baby over there and then wash the bedding and Teviso is somewhere over there working sorry bro all right welcome to the kitchen and this is where all the fun happens this is where all the magic happens this is where all those nice recipes you see on my instagram happen and today i'm gonna try something that i've never tried before i want to try making sourdough and not gonna lie i've never done this before i've never even seen anybody do it but i have hope in myself i believe in myself and therefore i'm gonna do it first things first here we have dough that's been in the fridge for at least a week and a half and from what i hear is look now let me not lie to you i did not plan to make sourdough this is leftover dough from the time i made i was trying to make flat bread yeah but from what i hear is that as long as you feed it there's something called feeding the dough. As long as you feed the dough, it will come to life again and it'll become, it'll smell sweet and sour. And I smell that. So right now I want to feed it. I'm not ashamed. I'm going to YouTube every step of the way. Okay. If you can see there, I see life. I see there are bubbles inside there. And that means that it was active. It did grow a little bit. So all I need is to kind of like bring it back to life and then use some of that in my flour mixture to make the bread. And I know that it might flop and I'm not scared of that. You know, I'm, I'm okay with that. So I want to feed it, put it on the side. Wild. Waiting for that, I'm going to like clean the kitchen and then get ready. By get ready, I mean like do my face, my makeup baby, baby, stuff because I want to look cute. It's a Sunday. From the day I saw you, I really, really want to catch your eye. There's something special about you, I must really like you. It's not a lot of guys that work my time. I'm 
sitting on the stairs because the best sunlight in this house is coming through this window over here on the stairs so that's why i'm here let's beautify myself on my face right now i have vaseline and sunscreen and i usually use sunscreen to prime my face i use it as a primer so i don't need to go in with a primer first and check this out guys i keep losing these things right i probably say this like every makeup video i do but i got one yesterday and i found all of the other ones and there's another two that are in my two bags so lip therapy galore but christmas i'm gonna first go in with this rimmel london i just got this foundation a few days ago i love it what i love most about it ne, is the fact that it's full coverage but it's not i like the consistency it's not that thick it's not that oily type neither is it the matte type it has a natural finish that's what i enjoy about it most um i don't know if you can see properly but oof. oh good news guys i'm going to pe in a few days and i'm so excited i can't wait to see my sister's baby i have not seen him since um in a year and he's celebrating his birthday tomorrow and oh i'm so excited i can't wait to see him i only get to see him once a year when i go down to pe so yeah that's what's up and knowing me like i will start packing tomorrow i'm leaving on thursday but i will start packing on monday i'm that person and thing is from there from pe i'm going directly to durban for a wedding type of thing so i want options you know i want because i'm doing, going to two different places but i'm only packing a bag this big i want options uh, but i want good options as well you know so i'm gonna start packing early but at least the bendias by it's my fault okay because i would have given myself plenty of time and i'm kind of trying to live a very minimal life now you know that's why i'm not gonna pack a big bag but i do want to give myself enough time to plan it out i want to make the trip as easy as possible for myself so i'm gonna pack light but i want to make sure that i have everything that i need being a bag lady is not cute anymore because the thing is nobody will help you with those bags but you're gonna have to push them around and carry them around just an alert i can't really see everything that i'm doing here so if i look like a clown then it is what it is you know what i'm saying I'm using my viewfinder and not a mirror. It looks like such a fine day to wear a cute summer dress. And this palette is just putting me in that mood. I want to look cute in a dress. What is it about eyeshadow that makes my eyes look smaller? Like, I don't get it. As soon as I add color on here, my eyes just go... <laughs> so to make my eyes look a little bit bigger than they look right now i'm gonna go in with a liner maybe a little under my eye and a little just above okay i really need a mirror for this one liner in oh 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 oh, oh, oh. minimal lashes for a minimal sunday yeah boy. i'm not gonna go for the dramatic va va vooms just in Don man. Ugh, didn't even try. Ugh, I woke up like this. Me every day. Yeah, bo. Maybe it's a big deal. Why? Well, you got the keys to my heart, but you ain't gonna get it. I don't like glow, girl. That's what I'm talking about. Like, are we even trying at this point? Sunday with Destiny. I want my thumbnail to come out of this. Okay, okay, okay. Lipstick. Yeah, bona girl. Yeah, the bona girl. We are bona girl. Yeah, the bona girl. How I freshen up my dress is very simple. I use not too many things. I've not shaved my pits, guys. Deal. I don't know why that's still disgusting. Like to see armpit hairs. We're grown adult. Like, why is that weird? <laughs> I section it out like this, I know. And then I trim whatever split ends I want to trim. Even here at the bottom, sometimes I have like hanging things. I don't know, with this fiber, I find that sometimes it catches mitts and stuff. So I have to like 
snap them out and then for my scalp i'm using this cleanse it's dry shampoo basically for braids so i just base this in my scalp and rub it in but this is a great product man like instant relief and tell you what this wasn't even expensive i think it was like 25 rand and now to bring some life onto this hair i have here water and a little bit of conditioner I separate this hair in half and then spray that onto the synthetic hair itself. When it gets dry, they all like clump up together. So to separate them and to bring life back, I just spray this. I love that smell. So if you can see the difference, this side versus this side, this one is more looser, more bouncier, and this one is still kind of clumped up and together. Yeah, well, that's what this does. Okay, let me turn into something cute. And then go hang the laundry and then come back and check on that sourdough. Yeah. I am give it to I send the way no otherwise. I feel like I have to reintroduce myself just in case you don't recognize me. But otherwise send him wood. Can't be a go kaike if I still don't Love this dress. Cutest thing. Love it, love it, love it. Alright, we are back in the kitchen and um yeah. It's time to check on that dough. It's been way after three hours because I was watching a series and I got lost in time and I was looking at myself in the mirror and taking TikTok videos and reels. So yeah, time has gone by. So first thing I have to do, let me open up quick. Ooh, looks great. It's so active. I can see it like bubbling as I'm looking at it right now. It's the craziest thing. Like it looks alive as it should be. To test if it's ready for bread making, I scoop it up just a bit and I have to see if it floats on top of this water. If it floats, that means that it is ready to make bread and it does not float. This is the second test. The first test, it actually floated. So I'm gonna try this again and see baby dimming like now this one floats i'm so confused what does this mean the guy actually um said that if it doesn't float then you have to leave it in like overnight for it to finish doing its thing but i'm so curious in fact i'm not going to use all of this so let me just carry on and make the bread and see if it turns out well if it doesn't i'll just try again tomorrow when it's a little bit more rested then it should be great so if it's this doesn't work then i'll know what the problem is but because I got two results from the same dough, could go either way. So here I have my flour. I'm gonna basically make a dough, right? You know how we make that? Um, a cup of flour in, a half a cup of water, salt, and a little bit of sugar. And then instead of yeast, I'm gonna put this mixture, like half of it. Okay, maybe a quarter of this mixture into it. Let me just warm up my water. So in this bowl, I need flour, a little bit of salt, a little bit of sugar, lukewarm water. I'm just gonna put a half of this cup in this mixture. After mixing this and kneading it, I have to let it rise for another three hours. It's a very long recipe, but I hope it's worth it. All right, so my motion is basically just using this part of my hand and this part to flatten it out, stretch it out. I have flour on the surface so that it doesn't stick. And then just carry on doing this motion until it doesn't stick to my hands anymore. I remember like the most fun thing to do when my mom would make a makuinya in the kitchen. She would literally give me my own little bowl and she'd mix the things in for me and then I'd knead and just create my own little makunyas. It was so nice. So the plan here is to get it to be elastic right? So that when I stretch it, I can see through it. It doesn't tear. It doesn't, can you see? Like there's see-through parts to it. It's not breaking. So that's what we want. I have this round dough over here ready to go into my bowl again. I'm just gonna cover it with a towel and leave it on my counter for the next three hours. 
then I will be ready to bake. Ah, I'm so nervous about this. So I don't know, might end this vlog here and I'll show you the results. Thank you for spending the day with me. Like this vlog has been a lot already. I'm just gonna show you the results over here to see if it turned out well or not. It's not even noon yet and I've done so much. So right now I don't go upstairs. Otavis was taking a nap, he's out of work already. So I'm gonna go and bother him because, well, it's Sunday, what is he expecting? Please let me know if you like this video by clicking the like button over there. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. I'll see you in the next video.